There are crazy differences in prices between router table fences. When you can buy a fence like this, Tay Tools, for less than $100, can you really justify spending $220 on the Rockler or $580 on the Woodpeckers? Maybe, they're pretty nice. In this video, I'll evaluate and compare these three different router table fences. And if you're building your own router table, it's important to decide on the right fence up front so you don't make the same mistake I did, spacing your T-tracks for one fence and later deciding that you wanted a different fence. So let's dive in. All three fences are perfectly square to the tabletop as well as straight across the in-feed and out-feed. The Rockler and Tay Tools fences are square and straight right out of the box. Since the design simply relies on the extruded aluminum structure of the fence to be square, which it is perfectly square. Woodpeckers takes a different approach with the use of these red brackets which need some assembly and adjustment to get the overall fence straight and square. And additionally there are leveling screws, not really sure why they're needed since the red brackets are perfectly true. Perhaps if your router tabletop wasn't square? It's a bit overcomplicated for a basic router table fence, but this design is anything but basic and it does enable some advanced features which I'll get to in a minute. I was surprised to find that the countersink holes for the sacrificial fence bolt heads were too shallow, so they don't fit flush below the surface which is a bit problematic in keeping your workpiece flat against the fence. I expected better from woodpeckers. The in-feed and out-feed fences easily adjust horizontally on all three fences based on the size of the bit that you're using, as well as to get effective dust collection. All three fences have a dust collection port, which is just expected on any router table fence, and all three of them work exceptionally well, leaving almost no trace of sawdust. Even in this example with my circle cutting jig, where the fence isn't needed for the cut itself, but it's still pretty effective in dust collection. The Tay Tools fence comes with both a featherboard and a stop block which mount in an aluminum T-track at the top of the fence. Stop blocks and featherboards are not included with either the Rockler or the Woodpeckers, but of course you can buy them separately or make use of ones you already have. Or just clamp on a stop block, which is what I tend to do more often than not. I do make use of featherboards frequently, really a must have on a router table in my opinion. The T-track to mount these on the Rockler fence is cut into the MDF, which I'm not crazy about. It seems like it might not hold up over time as well as an aluminum T-track. To use a featherboard on the Woodpecker's fence, you need to install the featherboard T-track, and it makes the top track not available. All three of these fences come with a bit guard which mounts to the front-facing T-track. Again, on the Woodpecker's fence, if you're using the front-facing T-track, then you can't use the top T-track at the same time. For example, if you had a top mounted stop block. Or I guess you could take off the MDF and just use the extruded aluminum fence directly. So yeah, I like the Tay Tools design the best in this regard, having both a front facing and a top aluminum T-track. Each of these fences work with a different hold down spacing, so if you're building a router table like I did, then it's important to consider which fence you want before cutting the T-track slots. The T-tracks on my table are 22 inches apart, which fits the Tay Tools, but not the Rockler or Woodpeckers. No worries though, I just drill some holes in the Rockler fence at 22 inches apart and it works great. So let's talk about the micro adjust feature, which is what triggered me to look for a new fence for my router table and do this evaluation. I've been using the Tay Tools fence for the last couple of years, but getting really frustrated trying to fine tune the fence position and I decided I need a micro adjust. I love how the micro adjust feature works on the Rockler fence. The main structure of the fence stays securely clamped to the router table top, while the micro adjust simply moves the face of the fence on one end and hinged on the other end. The Woodpecker's Micro Adjust is an engineering marvel and as a mechanical engineer myself, I can really appreciate the quality of the design and construction. However, as the user of a router table, I think it's a bit cumbersome having to loosen both fence clamps, make the micro adjustment which moves the entire fence, not just one end, and then retighten both fence clamps. Not to mention that it's an add-on feature of the fence for an additional $170. The Tay Tools fence doesn't come with a micro adjust, however I just made one myself. I first made a basic T-track stop block. 
and then drilled a 7 inch inch hole and threaded it with a quarter 20 tap. With some rough calculations and a quick test, I figured it out to be about 1 seconds of an inch of adjustment per rotation. And I'm using a wing nut to help me visually keep track of how many turns. This is an effective micro adjust, but it still requires that you loosen one side of the fence, make the adjustment, and then resecure the fence. So not as good of a solution as the Rockler fence is, in my opinion. All of these fences allow you to use your router as an edge joiner. By using these pre-calibrated spacer bars, you can offset the outfeed fence relative to the infeed fence. There are two different size slots in the Tay Tools fence to let you choose from a 132nd offset or a 116th inch offset. With the use of either a straight bit or a spiral bit, then the router table has been converted into an edge joiner. The Rockler's fence joiner bars are rectangular, giving you a choice of either a 164th inch offset or a 132nd inch offset. And the Rockler fence also comes with a set of these inserts to give you even more flexibility in fine tuning the depth of cut when used as a joiner. So this is an area where the woodpecker's fence design does have an advantage. Making use of the offset base, you can easily adjust the outfeed to any dimension of cut you desire. And you also have the option to purchase a second offset bracket to use on the infeed side of the finch, which would make it function even more like a real joiner where the fixed outfeed and an adjustable infeed. Although I covered most of the advantages and disadvantages of each fence along the way, I'd like to add just a few summary comments. The Tay Tools fence has all the features of the other fences except for the micro adjust feature and it's the only fence that comes with a featherboard and stop block accessories. I reviewed the shorter 24 inch version in this video although there is a longer 32 inch version available and the Tay Tools fence is a bargain price either way. And I'll leave links in the description for all of these fences. The Rockler fence has all of the features of any of these fences and the micro adjust feature is far superior in my opinion because of the way it works allowing the main fence structure to stay securely fixed to the table while using the micro adjust. Although it's double the price of the Tay Tools, the micro adjust feature might justify it. The Woodpecker's fence doesn't have any additional features compared to Rockler. Although the way the fence offset adjust works seems nice if you're going to use it as a joiner. Overall, I think it's an unnecessarily complicated design. Although if you're looking for the ultimate adjustability, then you might like it. And I'm not sure what there is to say about the price. I'd like to note that this video is not sponsored and I bought all three of these fences with my own money. I've used the Tay Tools fence for the last couple of years and I'm upgrading to the Rockler fence primarily for the reason of the micro adjust feature. And what's going to happen between me and the Woodpecker's fence? Well, it's complicated. Thanks so much for watching and if you think I've earned it, it'd be great if you hit that thumbs up like button and consider subscribing.